What is Gucci Fresh everyone? Welcome back to my channel with me, Sarah Ferugia. Today, I got my inspo from the one and only Kai Kai Jenner, the Kylie Jenner. I actually watched her video of her rating her costumes yesterday, so I knew I just had to hop on it because it was just such a good idea. I literally have the worst costumes out of anyone in this planet, like on this planet. Like there's no way someone has a worse costume than I do. Like there's just, there's no topping it up. I I actually don't know how I was allowed to leave the house. Well, that was later on when I was like 18. I don't know how I was allowed to even enter the outdoors in this costume like and I thought I looked good that's where it went wrong okay <laughs> I thought I looked good. good so I'm gonna show you all of my Halloween costumes from when I was straight out of the womb to all the way to 2019 because Halloween's this weekend so make sure you follow me on Instagram to see what I pull out of the hat this Halloween let's just jump right into it the first picture we have is this one I think I was about one years old like there's no way I could be more than one like I just look so tiny look at that little face like don't you just want to like knock her out she's just so cute those eyes like see <laughs> okay some of my friends know I have like an aggression problem okay not actually an aggression problem it's like when I think things are super cute, I literally just wanna like boot kick them 50 miles away. Like when you see a cute dog, like don't you just wanna like strangle it? Or is that just me? <laughs> okay, let's maybe just not talk about that anymore. Um, I kind of dig this costume. Like it's super basic, but it's kind of cute at the same time. Like you just put it over the eyes and the little triangles, like kind of cute. Yeah, I don't mind this. I think I would rate it. Like, I had to dress my one year old. I'm gonna rate this like a seven out of 10. I think it's pretty cute. And I really like the little boop, little hat. I think it's cute. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. And just to let you know, this is gonna hit the roof real quick. Cause I was not cute as a kid, like at all. Like I just, no, I have no words for my younger self. <laughs> the next costume, I believe I was like three years old. You know, I feel like it could have been a bit better. The face paint is definitely um, a bit sloppy around the edges. <laughs> Look at my lips, like, hello. Definitely no makeup by Mario was doing those lips because that's just, like, not acceptable. <laughs> and then the face, like, the green could have went into the lips. I don't know. It just could have been a lot better. I don't really get the red on her eye. Just the costume in general. I mean, it's cute. I don't really know if it's, like, Frankenstein or a scarecrow because it has, like, a patch at the top. So <laughs> whoever made this costume, uh, I don't really know what your or deal was here or maybe oh it was a witch oh it was a witch that makes so much more sense because the long nose okay we had like a three-in-one costume here because I could have been anything at this point like who knows oh and she could have painted my hands green that would have been better actually this one I'm gonna give it I mean I look cute but I think I'm gonna give it like a six out of ten actually the next one's pretty good I kind of like this one this here it's like a bat I think yeah that's definitely a bat honestly this costume just looks like pretty high quality to me like I like in the 2000s I feel like not a lot of costumes really look like that I actually have a fear of bats that's just like foreshadowing something terrible happening in the future because we had bats in our house I just have traumatic experience with bats and I just never want to see one again <laughs> I think the costume is good I'd actually give this like an 8.5 out of 10 the next one honestly like my mom was slacking off this year like <laughs> what is this like I, I couldn't even tell you what I am like, was this actually for Halloween or was it like for school Halloween? Either way, what's going on here? She just like glued some stickers onto my face and called it a day. So I can't, I, I can't, I couldn't tell you what this costume even is. Maybe like a star girl. So this one's got to get a nice four out of 10. I feel like anything could have been better than that. Sorry, mom. Okay, this is where it starts to get juicy because anyone that knows me, I had like... I just like wasn't, I just didn't look human. I just don't know how any child could have looked like that. I don't know why I look like that and I don't know who dressed me this way. And I feel like half of the Halloween costume pictures are just missing because my mom probably burned them because I just look so terrible. This is where shit hits the fan, okay? <laughs> okay, so Kylie, you had some like bad ones, whatever, but you never looked that bad. Like you still look good. But let me just tell you, you just, you did not look like this, okay? Like this is rock bottom. This is rock bottom. 
right here. I know anyone watching this right now did not look like that. Let's just zoom in on my face right now. I really dressed up in that. <laughs> Obviously my sister was Luigi. Her other friend was Mario. And like, I was just the weirdo in the middle. I don't know what anyone was thinking. But apparently I have this like cap on my face that just makes my face look even more of like a balloon. Honestly, I actually got a lot of compliments that night. I remember trick or treating, they're like, oh my God, your outfit's fire. And I was like, I know, like I look so good. Like I thought I actually looked like a Victoria's Secret model. I just literally have no words for this. I feel like if Yoshi saw this, he would just like block me on all social media. He just would throw me in the trash. He would just be so disappointed that I just did him like that. He'd be like, who is this? I had to rate my Yoshi costume. I could have definitely painted my face green or something. Oh, but it's such a good picture looking back on it. But costume wise in general, I would give it like a seven. I feel like I could have popped off more, but looking back at it now, I'd give it a 10 because that picture is like priceless to me. It's just the best picture I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you thought Yoshi was bad? Just wait for this year because it was another collaboration ha Halloween costume. Let me just tell you. <laughs> so we decided to be the Wizard of Oz this year. My sister's friend was Dorothy. Yeah, she was Dorothy. Selena was the witch. And I pulled up as Tin Man. Of course, I have to pick like the worst costume out of all of them. So let's just uh, roll the tape here. I seriously entered the atmosphere like this. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you guys seeing this? First off, my mom could have painted my neck. Like my neck is just completely my skin color. My eyes have like no gray on them. It's just, it, I just like have absolute, like I need a full body picture of this and I cannot find it. And I remember this costume being like $80. I told my mom, I'm gonna pop off for this costume. This is it. I'm winning like a contest if I enter it. I actually just have no words. Like, and the worst part is, is that I thought I looked so good. Why was my sister cute? And I just literally look like a troll under the bridge. Like, I just don't get it. That's enough of the Tin Man. Like, I just the hat. Just everything. I would rate the Tin Man costume just because it's actually my favorite thing to look back on. I would probably rate it a 10. Honestly, like, it's just so iconic like okay now we're entering the teenage years after Tin Man I think my mom just gave up on costumes because there are zero pictures from then until I was like 16 17 and I entered high school I think my mom was just like that's it we're getting the snip there there's no way we're doing something else after the Tin Man <laughs> grade 9 Halloween was just like awkward because you're coming in from elementary school and you still have like your tight friends but you're like slowly making new friends into high school and Halloween is literally like one one month after you enter high school. You have September and then October and it's Halloween. You're either going to, there's just gonna be either a random party or you're just not going to a party. This was probably the worst costume out of all of them. Like I'm just so disappointed in myself that I even dressed up as this. And we actually went trick or treating in grade nine. So I was like, what, 16, 15? I just feel like you should not go trick or treating past Tin Man age. This was the picture, I mean, Everyone looks super cute. I get it, like the footy pajamas, but like why? Like why a footy pajama for Halloween? And why am I wearing like a hat? Caitlyn actually looks cute. Like she's got a little baseball outfit on, but like why did we do this to ourselves? <laughs> like me, Grace and Maddie just pulled up in, in onesies and we're like, Trick or treat, like let's go, give me my candy. And when we went trick or treating, I remember them giving us like one Kit Kat or like one Smarties pack because they're like, what are you doing here? Like, this is for four-year-olds. And it's like a terrible costume. So like, of course they would give us one freaking snack. Like, I would scale the grade nine footy pajamas like a two. We look cute and it was comfy, but like, Halloween costume, that's not a Halloween costume. Like, no, no, that no, shouldn't have happened. Two out of ten for me. Fast forward to grade 10. I threw the biggest Halloween banger, like, honestly, probably the best party I've been to. I dressed up as Minnie Mouse. We all did, me, Lauren, and Caitlin. We dressed up as Minnie Mouses. Like, I'm pretty sure I got these shirts from Spencer's and I'm in my own house. Like, I feel so bad for my parents. I hope they never saw me in this. <laughs> but like, my whole family would come over when I had these parties. Like, my aunts and everyone, they would just stay upstairs and chill. I don't know why. But they never came downstairs, so that's great. I hope 
they never watch this video either because I mean, I guess Halloween's that one is that one day of the year where you can dress up as anything. Girl world, Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it. This costume just wasn't it. Like looking back, it's just so basic. Like what are these little red shorts and I mean it's cute, I guess. If I had to rate it, I would rate it a seven. I think I could have done way better. I could have definitely pulled out a way better outfit than that. Okay, the year after that, I think it was grade 11. First one, I actually kind of liked. It was just like a typical boxer outfit. So it was pink, it came with the skirt and then the robe. And then I bought this like bralette from Victoria's Secret and I was going to a concert anyway. It was a win-win situation. I could just wear it for both. I actually liked that. I thought it was cute. I wish I'd done a black eye. In this picture here, me and Devin, she was a boxer, but like different than me. She did a black eye. Like, why wouldn't I think of that? Outfit wise, I'd give it like a 7.58. I thought it was pretty cute. Maybe like an 8.5. Makeup wise, I could have popped it off and I really didn't. I don't even know if I was into makeup at this point. 8.3. We'll give you an 8.3 boxing outfit. Okay, this one... Call the 911 Halloween police because who let me dress up like this? I would probably still dress up as this, but I think I was in grade 11. Yeah, I was in grade 11. I just feel like that's so young to dress up like this. I mean, YOLO. <laughs> me and my friend Grace dressed up, well, it's actually goo. We dressed up as Playboy bunnies and my entire ass crack was out. I mean, it was kind of cute, just a little too much for a grade 11. The way you want to dress, you can just dress however you want. And I felt good, so I guess that's all that matters at the end of the day. So I would give this, I would give an 8.59. I actually, this was probably one of my favorite costumes. I thought it was pretty cute, but the next day we had to go to school in a costume and this is where I popped off. <laughs> so I dressed up in an Arthur costume I was wearing my dad's jeans I literally why do I have to wear my like, I don't know why I thought wearing my dad's jeans was gonna make the outfit better but I wore my dad's jeans I don't know why I just wouldn't wear my own but I pulled up in my dad's jeans maybe I wanted like a dad fit or something as you can see the camel toe is not looking too good there whenever it's happening yeah I put on the converse the sweater and then I made my playboy bunny ears into Arthur ears. DIY hacks from Sarah here. I was like stapling cardboard onto it, but I actually really like this outfit. I should have just showed up to my own party like this. What are you gonna do about it now? I would rate Arthur a 9.5. Like I loved that costume. I just thought it was so cute, especially for school. Like what a good costume to show up in. Okay, so this costume was in grade 12. I would have to say this is my favorite costume of all time. I just like felt my inner self. Like I don't know what it was, <laughs> but I dressed up as a, it was a gangster clown. So I dressed up with the plaid shirt, I had the money symbol, I had a sports bra on, and then the shorts and the fishnets that were like cut up. And then I had the bandana and then I did this like clown makeup on my face. I don't know what came out of me. Oh, I put tattoos on. I literally just felt like the baddest bitch in town. Like I felt so good. I don't know why. That was definitely a fun costume. And then my friend Ben actually was kind of dressing up as the same thing. So we looked like a little, oh my God, he had pimp on his hand. I should have done some like hand tats or something. Yeah, that was a really, really fun outfit. I would actually be that again. Maybe just change it up. For the gangster clown, I'm giving this look a 10 out of 10. Like I just thought I, I felt amazing, so I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. That was my favorite. We're almost coming to the end. I think after that costume, I believe we had like another party to go to the next day. So me and Lauren dressed up as a dead bride and then, well, we were both dead brides, but she was like the white dead bride and I was the dark bride. Makeup wise was pretty good. I had like the, I had the contrast, the contour popping out to make me look dead. And then I did some, it was like a pretty dead bride look. I thought it was cute. I didn't really like my outfit at all. It was like a corset with a tutu and the tutu was long gone during the party because it's just, tutus are actually the most annoying thing ever. The outfit, no. The outfit was terrible. I would give this outfit a 6.5 out of 10. I just didn't really feel that like comfortable in it. So yeah, 6.5 out of 10. Last year kind of fell off again. It was more of like a last minute thing. Usually have my stuff planned out and this year I just didn't. So I pulled up in this 
pirate costume. I actually got this skirt from one of my friends that I used to work with. I actually don't know if I still have that or not. So if you're watching this, please hit me up because I need to give that back to you and I need to find it somewhere. <laughs> I got the shirt from Garage, I think. And then I had little booty shorts on with the skirt on top and I was like a pirate. I got some jewelry from Claire's and made and attached the hoop earring to the nose. So it was like a septum piece. So I thought that looked cool and I actually made the little, I made the bandana myself. I put like the jewels on it, spray painted it. It actually turned out pretty good, but I don't even remember going for this Halloween. Like it wasn't even that fun. I would rate the pirate. I actually didn't mind it. I thought the makeup looked good and most of it was DIY. So I would give it like an eight out of 10. And then this costume I pulled out of the gutter. I went to the store, got a, no, I didn't even go to the store. I went on Facebook Marketplace, got a $10 jumpsuit that someone was selling it was like um a halloween one but it was the orange jumpsuit like a jail suit i ripped it up and then i put 3d like cuts on my face i did it myself and put blood and i don't know made it look like i had a freaking wolf scratch on my face because what wolves are entering the jail i don't know put blood everywhere and that's just what you got to do when you're in a rush so <laughs> i just felt so good in that costume i was so comfortable we went into like some hot ass club and everyone's like sweating in their skirts and like corsets and I'm like here with my <laughs> baggy jumpsuit on. I remember the makeup was actually peeling off because it was so hot. But yeah, I'd give that a 9 out of 10. I really like that outfit. So this costume was right before I went to LA for six months. I dressed up as a nurse. A dark nurse apparently. So... This one was super basic again. Like I never really go to the store and just pick out a costume and I'm like, I'm sold. I usually try and find things and like make it myself and put my own little twist on it. But I guess I really just didn't care this year. But it still turned out cute. Like I had black gloves. I'd give this look like an eight out of 10. And I will leave that's it for my Halloween costumes throughout the 20 years of my life. Oh my God, that's so weird. Like if I did another video when I'm 40, and then it's like my outfits from when I'm 20 to when I'm 40. <laughs> I can't even, I just can't even imagine being like 21 next year. I just feel like I'm old. Does anyone feel old or is that just me? That has nothing to do with the video. But <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment of what you're being for Halloween. And if you have any ideas for me, let me know. I think I do have an idea. I have to get all the costume stuff and it's just gonna, it's just so hard to find. So I'm gonna have to really pull something out of the hat real quick. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and I hope to see you guys next time. Love you guys. Happy Halloween. <laughs>